What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, if you see something that you like during this video, please don't forget to subscribe at some point. Those of you stopping by, they've been here before. Welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So, this is due to subscriber request. I had a gentleman recently reach out to me and tell me an interesting story via email. Um, requested that I did this. He has an interesting set of circumstances. So, here we are. This is what I would consider the 10 best fragrances to get you noticed. Stay tuned. So with these 10, obviously some of these you'll be expecting. Let me give you a little quick disclaimer on what these scents are going to be. There's going to be some blue scents. There's going to be some Embroxen heavy scents. These are going to be a lot more mass appealing. Stuff that's going to appeal to a larger demographic that really have a pleasant smell. They really pull people in. Pull the average walker by in. You know, something that the ladies enjoy that you'll enjoy wearing that works in a lot of situations. Daily driver type of stuff. So let's jump into it. So with the first one, now, projection is pretty moderate to heavy in the first 30 minutes, and then it starts to sit a little bit close to the skin. Performance isn't a real strong suit. This is one I would advise if you have an eight plus hour work day, I would keep it with me to refresh. But the way I like to describe this one is Dior Sauvage with added pineapple and vanilla. And it's from Coach. It's Coach Platinum. I actually wore this earlier this week. You forget how good some things are and how much you enjoy them until you wear them again and this is definitely one of those fragrances um not i keep hearing speculation about it being discontinued you can still find them pretty easily for a pretty good price uh, 100 ml like this i paid low 30s from discounters i want to say it was like 32 or 34 something like that prices aren't bad on this one and this is like i said it's kind of dior sauvage with an added sweeter twist because of the pineapple and the vanilla that's added i actually like this better and this receives a good bit of positive attention. Give this one a try. This one will definitely get you noticed. Coach Platinum. Next, this may be an obvious one to some, but it's tried and true. It just works. It's extremely versatile. It's what a lot of fragrances have based their DNA off of and made their own spin on. It's Versace Dylan Blue. There's no denying how good this one is. You know, people love it. People love the way it smells. It's not a weak performer. You know, you get oh, eight to 10 hours <laughs> easily out of this fragrance. You know, even for people with skin that drink it are gonna get at least six hours out of this. So it's a pretty good performer and it projects relatively heavy. I wouldn't spray super heavy with something like this. You know, you go your typical three or four sprays and you should be good for your day if you don't wanna, you know, be overly loud with your scent. But this is very pleasing to the nose. A lot of people enjoy how this one smells when you walk by. Compliment factor is pretty high with Dylan Blue. It's a more youthful take on a more modern fragrance, which a lot of modern fragrances are a bit more youthful. They're marketed towards the younger man most of the time, as far as these designer scents are concerned. Um, and Dylan Blue absolutely was that. This is one that's going to be familiar to a lot, but smell great to a lot. That's Versace Dylan Blue. Next. This is a personal favorite of mine and probably the one that's garnered me the most attention off of this list. Um, it just puts me in a different mood. I don't know if that's contributing to the compliment factor on this, but Invictus Aqua. There's no denying. This thing smells great. Very fresh, very inviting, very aquatic, not overly powerful. Pretty strong in that first hour. About six to eight hours, depending on your skin, I get around seven, five hours for some that skin will drink it. People love the way this smells, especially the masses. You know, your average frag head may not be into a lot of designer releases. They have their select few that they love and swear by, but to the average person you're walking by, they're gonna think you smell incredible when you're wearing Invictus Aqua. This is a mass appealing compliment magnet, to say the very least. This one will absolutely get you noticed. Um, the gentleman that requested this list, I know you're watching. 
Trust me on this one. Invictus Aqua. Next, one that you haven't really seen me feature too heavily. Um, I don't wear it enough lately. I've had so many others to work with. Now, this is a sweeter, nuttier take on a classic clubbing fragrance. Paco Rabanne's One Million Lucky. This stuff is great. Very youthful appeal, youthful approach. Pretty strong. All day type of spray. You're going to get great performance out of this one. The projection is not light, but doesn't fill a room at the same time. I would control the sprays in a work scenario for this as well. Um, but this is definitely going to get you noticed. This is a compliment machine. This was hyped for a long time. This was super hyped and for good reason. It's a really good fragrance. Not that many people really talk about Lucky anymore. People still talk about One Million more than they talk about Lucky, which is surprising because this is better than the original in my opinion. Really, it's kind of a toss up between this and Privé on which one's the one to own. But for this situation, if you're trying to get noticed, you're trying to appeal to others, one Million Lucky would probably be the one to go with in the One Million line. It's got that One Million sweetness with that added hazelnut, a little bubblegummy sweetness. And it performs. This is some really good stuff. One Million Lucky. It'll definitely get you noticed. Next, there's no denying this bad boy. People love the way this smells. It's extremely, extremely popular and heavily copied. Victor and Rolf, Spice Bomb. The original. I would suggest this one. Oh man, spicy fragrances. You, know, you guys know I love my spicy fragrances. And this is the king of it. This is the originator. Yeah, it's been reformulated heavily. Doesn't perform in that 10 hour range like the older batches, but so what? I still get seven to eight hours. You know, people who skin drink it will get five or six hours. That's okay, refresh. It projects pretty heavy though. I would be careful with the sprays because it's so spicy, you can go anosmic and nose blind to it and not realize how strong you are. This is one of those three, four spray type of fragrances and you're good. Really gonna get you noticed. Now, not everybody's gonna love the spicy fragrance, but the vast majority will. And this one's just pleasing. When you walk by somebody and you have this on and it's an into intoxicating type of smell, you'll absolutely get noticed if you're walking by somebody wearing Spice Bomb. It's tried and true. Next, for those of you that have always liked Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, this is a little bit more mature take on it. Very cheap. You can get a 100 ml in the sub $30 range. It's Mont Blanc, legend. Performance, not a strong suit, five to six hour fragrance, you know. It's an average performer. Oh man, but it just smells so good. The apple in this one really stands out to me and my nose. This is a very pleasing, it's the panty dropper scent, which is what Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce was known for, grown up. That's how this is a little 30 ml. That's how I would put Mont Blanc Legend. This is still very appealing to the ladies. Has been for many years. That DNA is popular. That's why it's very copied. Kenneth Cole Mankind's another one I have that smells like this. But this is the one I would suggest from a quality and smell versus performance standpoint for the fierce fragrances that are available on the market. This is definitely going to be the one that's going to garner you some attention. I would keep keep it with me. You know, if you get a gift set where it has a one ounce like this, keep it in your bag, keep it in your briefcase and uh, refresh maybe midway through your day. Give yourself two or three more sprays, maybe four and you'll be good. But this will definitely garner you some positive attention. And that's Mont Blanc Legend. It still works great. So this was recently featured on my summer list as a Summertime date night fragrance is how you could look at it. And it's on a couple more upcoming videos. It'll be featured. Um, that's pretty much what it is. It's, it's really appealing. It's got that classic Armani code DNA that is very appealing and very inviting to a lot of people out there. This is the fresher version. It's Armani code Colonia. This is freshened up, still has that powdery sweet Tonka bean. Armani code DNA, just fresher. A little bit more citrus, it's a bit lighter, doesn't project as heavy, but still performs. I get about eight hours on my skin with it. Actually about nine the last couple of times I wore it. Still performs really well. You can get them for a decent price. This is a 75 ml tester, you know. Not a lot of people really talk about it much because I get it, it can get the generic tag, but it's not so generic because it's still 
Armani Code. It smells like Armani Code. Just the blue fresh take on Armani Code. I strongly advise trying this one, especially with it warming up like this. But this is going to be appealing to a lot of people. A lot of people are going to enjoy the way you smell. It has that seductive base from the Armani Code DNA with that modern fresh blue take on said DNA. Take my word for it. Give it a shot. Armani Code Colonia. It's better than people give it credit for, in my opinion. Next, one that not a lot of people have seen me feature in a long time. Because there's never the perfect situation to recommend it. And in this situation, I believe it is. So, I get it. Some people will say, Boss Bottles played out. How about the deeper, sweeter, better performing version of Boss Bottled Intense Eau de Parfum? It's not played out. This is very, very, not really seductive as much as it is much more appealing because it's a much deeper, richer scent and much deeper and richer version of the original. Look it up and search it. They don't necessarily go gaga over it. It's not going to have that type of effect, but you'll smell a bit more interesting than the average person. You're going to appeal to a lot. And this is extremely versatile. This is going to work from a day off to a date. It's a little on the rich side. Control the sprays if you're going to wear it in the heat. But give it a shot and try it. This is very versatile. This works in many situations. This is a fantastic daily driver. Year-round, especially in a climate-controlled environment. This is absolutely a year-round superstar. Very versatile very attractive to those around you boss bottled intense eau de parfum don't sleep next this one kind of gives off a similar vibe to invictus aqua but much more fruity take you can definitely smell the aqua di jo dna it's very present because it is a flanker of aqua di jo it's aqua di jo absolute from giorgio armani great performer very mass appealing compliment getting and like I said, it performs. You can get them for a decent price. They're not super cheap, but they're not super expensive. Check the discounters, Fragrance Net, places like that. Um, I'll put Fragrance Net link below with the 35% off coupon if you want to check out some of these. Um, this is one I strongly advise. This performs better than Invictus Aqua, but it doesn't smell exactly like it. It's going to give you a similar vibe to it. This performs a little bit better, but like I said, this is a little bit fruiter fruitier and less aquatic than Invictus Aqua. Still being an aquatic fragrance, but it's got a little bit different spin on it because it's an Aqua Di Gio DNA. This one's tried and true as well. This one got a lot of mixed reviews when it first came out because it was kind of a, people viewed it as a redundant release to a lot of these Invictus Aqua type fragrances and Invictus type fragrances, but I think it smells different enough. And results may vary, but in my experience, this will absolutely get you noticed and absolutely get the job done when you're walking down the halls. And last but most certainly not least, my favorite flanker from the Womo line, your favorite flanker from the Womo line, most of you anyways. Womo's signature, Salvatore Ferragamo. This stuff's great. It's been a little while since I've smelled it. Coffee, leather, a little tinge of a vanilla bubblegum type of sweetness in the opening that tends to fade. The Womo DNA is there, that sweet DNA with the added leather and that coffee notes pronounced in this one. This is great. This is going to make you smell interesting. It's very compliment getting in my experience. I've had several compliments, not several, but a few, the few times I've worn it. Uh, this one particular couple that I had been dealing with back when I worked at Mercedes, could not stop complimenting me because of how I smelled the whole process I was with the two hours I was with them. Could not stop complimenting me. They love this. You smell interesting. You're going to intrigue when they get a whiff of you. It doesn't project heavy, but if you walk within range and they get a whiff, this will draw people in and you're going to love it. This stuff is great. I strongly suggest getting your hands on it. You can get it in that 30-ish dollar range from discounters, fragrance net places like that. Salvatore Ferragamo Womo Signature is fantastic. Yes, it's more of a 
fall and winter type of fragrance. But like I said, climate controlled environment, two or three sprays, you're good. You work in a climate controlled environment, this will work just fine. Otherwise, it's a three season fragrance in my opinion, spring, summer, I mean uh, spring, fall and winter. But you're definitely going to intrigue with Salvatore Ferragamo Womo Signature. Not necessarily underrated, but underappreciated from what I can see. So until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. How many of these do you already have? For the gentleman that had requested this video, I hope this list helps. Um, I hope the advice works out for you. I really do. I appreciate you reaching out. Um, there are several others that have requested several different types of videos. They are in the queue for a lot of these requests. Be on the lookout, guys. Uh, a lot of things working. Thank you to all the new subscribers. We're growing fast. There's a lot more people wanting to see a lot more stuff. The comments can be overwhelming sometimes because I'm getting them by the hundreds now. And uh, it's fantastic. Like I said, keep them coming. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on this video as well. And until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on any of these, and you give them a spray now, very confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.